morning. Good morning. Good morning, replayers. Replayers from all over the world. Here's Freddie. Every time I've moved the chair and the camera angle, but it's all about Freddie. So as long as I've got Freddie in, that's okay. <laughs> oh, good morning, replayers. And gentle listeners in the background good morning good morning christy oh your your notebook full use just here ready making notes and next week i will be sharing my fabric journal so the wonderful snippet roll you made is all tucked around my fabric journal oh good morning christy and I presume Ali's up too. Good morning, Ali. All the way from London. <laughs> oh, I got to go in the Queen's Garden, Ali. I was so excited. I couldn't believe it. Normally they don't let us public in. <laughs> A special treat for us. Becky, good morning. So nice to see you. And Anne, good morning. Anne, it's early for you. Nip and get yourself a cup of tea. <laughs> There's Sylvia. Good afternoon, Sylvia. So nice to see you. Sylvia's all the way over there in France. And we have our, our American friends with us. And oh, on the replay, we've got people from all over the world. New Zealand. Hi, in Australia. Oh, Gail, good morning. So nice to see you. Oh, and Da, so nice to see you and lovely Gracie and Mrs. Gigi. Good morning. Oh, good afternoon, Mrs. Gigi. We've got Sweden in the house too. Oh, and oh, Jean, oh, Jean. You did such a beautiful painting last week. Oh, let me just read what Christy says before it goes off the screen. Oh, she's up and about. She's going to be helping her dad today. Oh, lovely, lovely. Oh, and Donna, Donna Matei. Good morning. So nice to see you. Really nice to see you in chat. That's lovely. And I see you over at Beth sometimes. Oh, hmm. Sending you love, Donna. Oh, <laughs> there's Kimberly. Come on, Kimberly. <laughs> In you come. <laughs> oh, so nice to see you. It's lovely that we can all gather round. We're gathering round this morning, gathering round in my dining room together, chatting about this and that, and doing a little bit of craft on the way. My upcycling this week was inspired by Heather, Mrs. Gigi and Sylvia. They've been doing a project upcycling cans and oh I love all that so I printed with it last week and I made a spool out of it this week. Alicia good morning <laughs> your fairy godmother says Good morning, Alicia. <laughs> so nice to see you. And there's Sue, Sue from England. Come on in. You've already had quite a busy morning already, Sue. Mm, come on, come on in. Sit down, feet up, get that hubby. You've had have you had your lunch already, Sue? <laughs> Oh, and there's Cheryl. Good morning, Cheryl, dear. So nice to see you. Oh, yes. Freddie, we've got Freddie. It's not an ideal angle for the sewing machine, but I know that doesn't matter as long as you've got Freddie in the scene. Mm. Kimberly is organising her Christmas stuff. <laughs> oh, wonderful. You've got to get ahead on these things, haven't you? Oh, so nice to see you. I don't want to miss anybody in chat. Last week, I missed oh, someone at the door. Postman only knocked twice, Barbara did. Right, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. It's been quiet all morning, obviously. Talk amongst yourselves. I 
American people. There's petrol. Come and sit up here, darling, so people can see you. Everybody wants to see you, Freddie. It's all about you, little man. There you go. You get up there. Yeah, he's a good boy. Oh, what have I missed? What have I missed? Don't let me miss anybody. If I was answering the door to my love, oh, you've got a lovely view of Freddie's bottom. <laughs> if I missed anyone, chat to me again. Oh. <laughs> that was my lovely neighbour Sandra. We got a we got a fuel shortage over here, so she was just phoning to say, um, "Little Tesco's has got some fuel." So maybe they'll have some more later. <laughs> mm. Oh, there we are. Right? Have I missed anything? <laughs> oh, I was just about to say, Jean. Um, before I interrupted myself by sharing this project, lovely Jean, Jean Bainey, has been doing some amazing, if you're on Instagram, um, some wonderful pictures. She, she's been doing portraits in paint. They are absolutely fantastic. And she did one for me last week. And for some reason, Instagram took it down. I don't know why. It's, it was an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous picture. So there we are. Here you go. You sit up here, Katie, dear. Go. Here you go. Come and sit up here, darling. And you can have a little snack. In a minute, you're going to wait for your snack. People want to see your bottom, Freddie. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, let me show you what I'm up to today. So, I've been making a snippet roll on my upcycled spool can. This, thank you, Janet. You'll be putting it back up on your Instagram. Oh, thank you, Jean. I, I'm a super, super picture. I, I'm loving your art. Yeah, loving your art. You're really on fire at the moment. You are. You really are. Um, there we are. So, yes. I've been making a snippet roll, and it's literally, literally scraps left over from my scrappy jacket, if you saw that the other day. Kimberly's saying, come on, Janet, let's get on with it. I know, because we'll get near a snack time. I know, I know. <laughs> and then I've been sewing on some... Let's put it the right way up. I've been sewing on some little hearts and some lace and buttons, and that covers up where it's just little scraps. Thank you, Barbara. Oh, thank you, Cheryl. Oh, that's kind of you. Thank you. <laughs> so there we are. I've got my little handy dandy owl out and all Sam said yesterday he likes to encourage me he said um oh I like the back of it too I I did wonder but I tend to go across like that and then I go down and then things get tacked on when you add buttons and hearts and bits and pieces thank you Kimberly thank you so I've just got some more tea dyed fabric there and I'm literally just going to start start again and of course I really did try to get the camera around so you could see me but I'm not very confident in changing it midstream and um you wouldn't have been able to see Freddie so I thought I think people want to see Freddie I know you can't see him now, but I can move. This every time people want to see the dear boy. Oh, it's ever so muddy out there. Oh dear, really muddy. So yes, it's just a case of you'll just have to you'll just have to imagine what I'm doing here. Goodness me. Um 
just getting little bits of snippets. Isn't that lovely? That's not a scrap, but it's just so lovely. I want to use it. <laughs> I'm going to put that there like that. Oh, lovely. And just have a little poke around in here. Lots of scraps because I've been doing lots of scrappy projects. Oh, look. That's a complete scrap. I love that. Let's just, because you can trim it off later. I'm literally just going to cut it like that and pop it on. Good morning, Janice. Nice to see you. Happy Monday. <laughs> oh, I, I know you're getting ready for work and it's early for you. And there's lovely Gail. Oh, Gail, how are you this morning? And how's your lovely husband? We're going to send, send Gail some extra special love, I think, this morning. I hope that, because I know Mondays is a busy day for you. But hopefully you'll be able to sit with us just for a little while. I don't know whether sitting's more comfortable or for you. I think you can just listen to the gentle hum of the sewing machine. Are you all sat cosy, Sue? I didn't see your answer about had you had your lunch. I presume you have, but I, I'm hoping that you're going to be sitting just gently listening to the stream. And look, a complete little scrap. That's some of the material you gave me, Dar. I'm not wasting a scrap. That just goes on here, just like lovely Lizzie Brewer and Carmen. I'm using up all the scraps. And it, it never gets any emptier because the more, oh, that's quite a big scrap. That could go for something else. There we are. Oh, look, that's, uh, actually, I think I've got some of that on the scrappy jacket. So I'm going to put that to one side there. Ah, oh, there's, a, there's a lovely bit. Now, was that from Beth or Becky or lovely Ali, Ali Cousins? It was from somebody in this chat. Oh, I'm not quite sure who it was. So literally, I'm just going down. Ah, that scrap needs to go on the scrappy jacket pile because that will do another there we are how wonderful just to be sitting here with you today and sewing i love it thank you donna that's really i'll, I'll give you a little view of the um jacket shall i that was all inspired by lovely Carmen. So I want to do, I want to break out into doing clothes. That's why it was so lovely to bump into that wonderful lady embroidering in the park. Because she embroiders and slow stitches and patches her clothes. And that's um, that's where I where I want to start to go. Um, Barbara dear, I don't know whether you've had a chance. Ooh, that's a piece. That goes in for the scrappy jacket as well. Um, I went to the palace. I, I've been so excited to tell you, but I didn't want to tell you before the video hot video came out. I wanted to tell you everybody. I went to the palace gardens. <laughs> Normally, you don't get... The public don't go in to the palace. It's normally the Queen has a garden party every year, but that's just to in people that are in another little scrap invited. So this year, I think because the house, because of this um, COVID word, can't be open. So they open the gardens and it was ticket only. And I was lucky enough to get in there very quickly very limited tickets because it wasn't busy it was so beautifully done so peaceful that i was lucky enough to get tickets and we went and there is a little video up that i've made 
And so the jacket is inspired by the lovely queen's herbaceous borders. Beautiful. Oh, have I got that in the scrappy jacket? Do you know, I don't think I have. I think I'm going to put that there. I'm having a sort out, everybody. I'm, I'm sorting out my scraps. Oh, Laurie. Good, good afternoon to you. Nice to see you, Laurie. It's a tiny little scrap, but I'm going to put it on. Why not? <laughs> Why not, indeed? And, oh, I said to you, I distracted myself. I usually go crisscross across so I catch everything, but I haven't. So but that's fine. Beth, good morning, Beth. And if Beth is there, that means lovely Jo is close, close to her. Good morning, Jo. Nice to see you. Are you mocking my accent, Jo? Jo does an amazing English accent. Don't you, Jo? <laughs> and there's Angie. Good morning, Angie, dear. Good morning. So nice to see you. Mm. And Vanessa. Good morning, Vanessa, dear. So I'm literally, because I'm not going to do too much. He's sleeping. Oh, Oh, wake up, Joe! It's time to watch Janet <laughs> and mock her accent. <laughs> oh, I'm just going to do a tiny bit of snippet roll because I, I realised the machine is in the wrong position. I, I did think that I would. Today I had the camera all out, so it was just concentrating on the machine and the work. And I said to Freddie, why people don't come for that? They come just to see the mess on the table and dear young freddy <laughs> you can't stay you're with your aunt your your aunt's mother-in-law yeah oh i know you do go and sit with them so nice of you to pop in just like my neighbor did when she rang the bell so nice that you popping popping by to say hi i'm loving that mm. joycey good morning so nice to see you Come on in. What's everybody to is, I mean, are people still, especially in the States, having their coffee? And I know Sue's got her feet up, and I've got the lovely replayers there, <laughs> and, and the people that are gently listening in the background. I'm loving that. You're, you're loving that jacket. Oh, I'm going to show you in a minute. Yes, definitely. Let me get you something that you can actually see. If I had the confidence, I could move the camera so you could see more of this, but I just don't like to make you wibbly wobbly. Ah, oh, Joyce has just woken up. So nice to see you, Joyce. And I'm going to twizzle it round, and then I'm going to go do this sort of V at the back, and that just helps it stay on. Oh, Janice, thank you. I know. Oh, what I couldn't show you is when you went in, it was, you can imagine, it was like airport security. You're interested in what fall fashion all oh, Flo is wearing. Oh, look at her in all her glory. She did, she, in the end, she didn't knit a scarf, she knitted a hat. Isn't it gorgeous? It's just a little rectangle that she, she crocheted and we made it into a hack. It's rather chilly. We're going to get the boi boiler sorted out mid-October. It's got a little chilly. I've got my, I've got my socks on and tights today. <laughs> oh. oh, Laurie's coming over. Have you booked your ticket yet, Laurie, dear? Ah, oh, it's a bit nippy <laughs> there. And a little poncho. She's got a poncho. And then when my niece, Katie, saw um, Flo's poncho, she said, oh, I want one. And I was making one out of the squares. But now I've decided to make this one. I'm going to, in the links below, I'm going to put the pattern for this one. 
So it's very simple. I just follow YouTube tutorials. It's like um, it's like a blanket, you but you make a big loop. So it's got the and you just keep going round and round and round. Oh, okay. Oh, Laurie. Oh, how amazingly exciting. So lovely for you to be able to see your family and you're traveling with your son as well. Do you know, Becky, I was thinking that. I've got socks for myself. She, yeah, it's more so me because I'm on the wooden floor, but yeah. Oh, Gail, it was wonderful for us. And the atmosphere, people were just at the, I'm gone back to the palace. The palace gardens can't stop going on about it. Um, it. People were just so quiet and respectful and sitting and their benches and where we sat. We just had this amazing view to be able to get and walk round the palace got I mean, you couldn't get round all of it <laughs> oh Letitia good morning so nice to see you Letitia I know you can't see what I'm doing Letitia I'm making a snippet roll but basically um we're just sitting around having our morning and afternoon beverages and just having a lovely little chat really <laughs> Um, when Ben was young, we had tickets and we went round some rooms in the palace um, and then looked at the garden. But to walk round it was just so special. So, so, such an opportunity. Because another year we might, it's, it's closed now. It was just open for about a month and a half. So another year we may not be able to get tickets. I'd like to go with my lovely neighbour, Sandra, as well. She would like that. Pop that in and I will show you the progress so far. There we are. Just pop that there like that. Sandra, Sandra. Um, Sandra's in New Zealand and been... Uh, no, Australia. Are you okay? Um, it's... I'm trying to think what time it is in Australia. It's it's quite late for you, isn't it? So nice to see you, Sandra. I do hope you are okay and, and the family too, yes. I didn't join it on properly, but that's what I've made while we have been chatting. I've added to the snippet roll. So what I do next, this is just me. You can leave it all scrappy if you want to. But then again, there I go ahead and I cut all the scraps off like this, creating more little scraps. And these go back in the, they go in another pot, ready to make little tiny scrappy projects. <laughs> now people are saying, have I missed, people are saying, Hello to Carol. Have I see, have I missed somebody? Oh no, of course. I I have seen Carol. Oh, Carol. Good morning. I am absolutely amazed by your quilting. I love it that we can be inspired by people, but not overwhelmed. It doesn't overwhelm me now. I can't quilt like. Here's Roy, for instance. Roy in the chat, and and I and I can't sew like Aunt Bex, and but it's great just to. And as I said that, Aunt Bex came into the chat. I love that. But the main thing is, have a go, isn't it, Bear? That's what we say. Have a go. So inspired by, let me show you here inspired by making my quilt and getting to know my machine more with doing the scrappy jacket excellent Sandra dear I didn't see your answer there's Mel Joy 
because I know you're in Australia, Sandra dear. Hmm. <laughs> oh, nice to see you, Mel Joy. So, but I, I thought you've got to start. You've got to start at the bottom, and that's what Sam said when I did the quilt. I said it's so basic, but I'm I'm going to get my skill levels gradually up. And the coil, I'm making one for myself. I've got an old sheet that I can put in the back. Mm. And so inspired by all my friends on YouTube, I made an Aunt Bex following, link below, Aunt Bex tutorial on pockets. I didn't, I, Aunt Bex, Becky, I didn't follow it that well because I've left the opening at the top it would be better to leave it there so I'm going to make a pocket heart for one of my squares this is your fabric dar that you gave me so my quilt is going to have an on so it's like a memory quilt of our times together here because it it's the fabric I'm using is fabric that I've been sent or Melanie's given me. It's so lovely. It's lovely. Yes, says Sandra. Just have a go. Just have a go. And by doing a project like the scrappy jacket, I can I can even thread the bobbin now. It, it wasn't. It wasn't the machine's fault. I was thinking, oh, it's old. The bobbin doesn't thread properly. No. No, user error. Mm. So yes, my my quilt is going to have a Becky dress style pocket in it. Links below. And then what I did is I went online and I found this pattern where you make a square. This is out of your fabric da. And I did that. And of course, it's gone a bit wrong there, but I I'm going to put some bias binding around that. It's fine. Oh, thank you, Janice. Janice, Janice, our multitasker, Laura would call you Yoda. <laughs> it's getting ready for work and throwing in links all at the same time. You're a star. <laughs> so I'm going to just put bias, not be put off. I'm going to put bias binding around the edge. And I've cut out a little fabric butterfly dar and I'm going to put that on one of the squares so that's all dar fabric and next week it will be something different I'm collecting up all the fabrics and Aunt Bex absolutely no pressure but it would be wonderful I'd love to know I can see the squares that you're building from the leftover dress a girl project candy good morning there's lovely freddie that's his little bottom there let me just show you there he is he's here he's here well, i'm here waiting for my tree that's what he says <laughs> yay candy is here oh so nice to see you candy's had such a busy time now the studio's open it's not virtual anymore, is it, your job? Oh, Gail says hi to you, dear Freddie. Oh, so that's what I'm going to be doing each week. And you, oh, yours, what you've done, it's, it, mine is raw edges, you, your quilt. And I, I don't want too many raw edges on the quilt I'm making here. Um, you put them all together, but they're all different sizes. It's a dresser girl memory quilt that Becky is making. I absolutely love it. So I'm hoping to be getting some tips and tricks from um, Bex too. No pressure though, no pressure. So let me move this glorious machine that you can't actually see properly yet. And um, let me move this and then we can see the desk. Oh. There we are. I'm just moving this, lady dear. Oh, there we are. Benji's. Yeah, I am. I am. And there we are, the glorious desk. <laughs> In all its glory and the glorious Freddy, too. 
Oh, Cheryl wants to give you a little pat. There he goes. I'll pat his little ears for you. There you go, Cheryl. <laughs> Got my socks on today, my tights. <laughs> Oh dear, oh, I don't know. <laughs> right, so what? Ah, yes. So then, what I'm left with, let me turn this light out because it's slightly overexposed. It does that help? No, that doesn't make any difference at all. Um, so, what you're left with, that's better, is a lovely little piece. You can see how it just looks all rough and ready. But once you start sewing bits and pieces on it, it's fine. <laughs> oh, it looks great, does it? Oh, thank you. Thank you, um, Gail, dear. Thank you. So I get my slow stitch. Now that's what you like to see, a busy desk. I know, I know. And then wh when I do the prompts, it just explodes even more. Oh, I will continue with this a little bit, but don't let me forget, I wanted to show you the fairy journal today. Vanessa says it's raining with her. Oh my goodness, we got wet in the park. We were making a cluster video yesterday. It's coming out Wednesday. Hashtag Crafty Clusters by Susan Hiles Art. And I'll pop the link in. I'll pop Susan Hiles' link in later. This, they'll be ready this evening. Good morning, Melissa. How lovely. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Vanessa. Thank you. Yes, just piles of different projects. If I want, I mean, it depends how I feel. To what project I do. Actually, I've got things all over the house like that. So then you just pick out bits and pieces, or I've got a little dish here with lots of bits and pieces in. You could put paper on as well. I tell you what I've got here. Angie's not here at the moment, but I'm going to put on one of Angie's little um what do you call these yo-yos? And then see where this is flappy, this bit here. I'm just going to sew a button on that. Hmm. Has everybody caught up with Roy's video? I can leave some links below as well for the hop videos. They came out on Saturday. Hmm. And Roy, I loved your video. I loved how you started it as well. And I'm, I was watching the hop and I'm watching YouTube and I'm thinking, stop. <laughs> Please, so many wonderful ideas. I, who's going to have a go at Roy's tissue box idea if you've seen it? Mm. Oh, do you know, Gail, it's easy to do, isn't it? Easy to do. And there's a little reminder. Oh, it is wonderful. Obviously, a wonderful production, darling, as always. <laughs> Absolutely wonderful. Oh, and talking about, yes, Vanessa, you're doing a premiere, aren't you? Thank you. And another reminder, I have it written down here in my notes. There. It's a live hop on Friday. Ah, oh, yes, good, good girl. I Yes, I had a little reminder here to say for people to go and be inspired by all the hop videos. I definitely want to make one of them. And I'm going to go back because I remember, I remember Roy, when it, he did, he did, when we did the, one of the hop, he did a quilt block using, was it three triangles? Are you still there, um, Roy, dear? Oh, you are there. It is easier than you made it look. Oh. 
I think I would probably, I think it's something I might, I might struggle with all that inside, outside. Uh, I really do. Aunt Bex showed us how to make the wonderful bag, didn't she? And, and that was wonderful. And I was determined. Oh, Sue's found a jacket to make the scrappy jacket. Brilliant. Let me show you the jacket just in case you have to go anybody so it, it's it's come on since the video I've completed the back and when you when you first start to put them on they're all flappy and loose but when you've been over and over the seams and they can go over and across. Mm. It really is going to keep me warm. I know. <laughs> oh, Letitia, sleep well. Yes, rest well, Letitia. You take care. Mm. Thanks for coming in. It really does. It, it Well, it's quilted. It really does. We'll have to have a lining. And then this is all new to me <laughs> it's just something i um mm. <laughs> opera <laughs> oh dear you are funny um i had to open the sleeve of course because how else am i going to i might even have to open up down here but as our lovely becky says i got my i've got a vintage came with the machine unpicker so I just sat there one evening and unpicked the seams. It, they're all locked in, but it just all peels away. So I'm sort of taking it to bits. Haven't had to cut any of it, so I haven't lost any material. And I'll just sew it up again at the end. There's some, look, these are fabrics I recognise that people have given me. There's some bees from you, Beth. <laughs> Gail. Gail was wondering, yeah, because I did that video quite a while ago. I didn't even think, Gail. So when I finished the back, I went to do the sleeve and I thought, oh, hold on, I can't get it. So that's what I did. <laughs> Fabrics from all over the world. And that's from my auntie Jennifer. Wonderful fabrics. That's from Deborah Brown, this fabric here. Deborah Brown. Sending you love. I'm not sure you'll probably be watching live or on the replay, but it doesn't stop us sending you our love because you're in hospital at the moment, or even sending you a little get well or a postcard. Get well soon, Deborah Brown. Deborah Joy. Mm. You're taking your grandson to school. You'll rejoin. You take care, Vanessa, and just come back. Um, soon and you'll get we'll we'll have a nice cup of tea together definitely it's a community quilted jacket everything I make seems to be um it seems to be but now there's the bluebird fabric there fabric from Mel Joy Laura lovely Laura Sullivan Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I've got fabric from Ali and Becky. Gorgeous. Becky W and Becky um, and Jean. Jean sent me fabric. It's all in here. Lovely. Old sheet. <laughs> Where did I start on the jacket? Does it matter? Oh, no. I just went full gung-ho. I really did. I don't know what I'm doing, no. And I leave a little gap there, but if you forget, you can always, and then I'm going to be turning it round and then lining it somehow. It's a learning curve. It's my jacket of many colours. Yes, yes. How I love my jacket of many colours. Yes, yes. I will. Pop it there, like so. <laughs> and I was just going to give you the last peep of the, that's just to, 
that just gives you an idea of some of the things I'm going to be doing throughout the week. Because the time, our time marches on, doesn't it? We have this precious time together. <laughs> She's going, Deborah is going to rehab for a couple of weeks to get her strength back. She's moving there today. Uh, yes, yes, we certainly will. Our prayers, our thoughts, our hearts, yes. Let's light a little candle for Deborah there. Oh. I need some more batteries in this one. There we are. It's a nice little dim constant light there. So I'm going to put this snippet roll back on my... So I'm, I'm excited on Wednesday to see the new... Is it Thursday, the collab between um, Mrs Gigi, Heather and Sylvia? I wonder what item they will be using and upcycling this week. Links below. I can't wait. <laughs> Joe will be down to one shirt soon because um, Beth will probably be sending me more, more fabric. I know, I know. And Kimberly, I've got some of Kimberly's husband's shirt. Next week, I'll be showing you the progress of my my fabric journal but I just wanted to show you the fairy journey the, the fairy journal before it goes on its journey it's going to go to a very small very family community art centre on Saturday and I just want it to, to be I've had the joy from it and I've shown you and it could sit on the shelf, but I think it would be much more fitting to be handled and touched. And so you've seen on the hot video, you've seen the front. I haven't changed the front. I did put in this gorgeous vintage hook. I'm quite a scavenger, as all some of you are. When people are recycling old doors outside, I can't have the whole door. I do, I do collect doors and bring them home and windows, but sometimes I can just have like a little, that's so old. It, it would have been in one of these houses since it was built. So I put that on there and that's a little hook. I just literally was able to screw it in. Oh, what were you saying about Paul, Kimberly, has he just gone? Oh, Dar says, does Paul know about it? <laughs> what if he's doing in shirts? I love it. Mm. <laughs> just need to send me a sleeve, it's fine. <laughs> Not all of it. Thank you, Barbara. Nice and busy for people to explore. We've got the loft and there, there is another video. For just a the little... Um, time for hashtag time for art. I can leave that um, below. Oh, you've chosen a linen jacket to do it with. You think mine is going to turn out as a winter jacket? Well, once it's got got it in, it's very padded, isn't it? Yes. Oh, I'd love to see. You have to send me pictures. So I won't show you the front because I think you've probably all seen it before. But um. Here's the little fairy. And these ones I made on the hashtag time for art. And there's her. You've seen her before. And so it's very tactile. I wanted it to be very tactile. And I've got just bits of book spine. Just lots of textures for people to, to feel. And what have I got? Some, I just literally done some plain pages here and I've got a little tab here made of paper <laughs> send a sleeve to Jana oh no I only need a little snippet I don't need anything no no you don't need to send me anything <laughs> no no and you've seen this one the bed that's in my with the fairy that goes to bed and we wake her up. 
Oh, we have to make her a cup of tea. We have to put the kettle on. And then there's the teacups, the little button. That's her cupcake. <laughs> I've got some mushroom fabric. Literally, just got another little fairy underneath. And another little fairy there. I've been putting, when I make the fairies, I use, I use napkins to make the butterfly wings. So then, oh, that's got a lovely, one of my lovely tabs I made at St. Ives. Thank you, Heather, dear. And that's the collage. I, you've seen that. That's when Janet goes tiny. I, uh, it's not like me. And I have included, because Flo, come here, Flo, darling, while I'm showing your, while I'm showing your journal. You should be involved in this. Um, I'm including a picture of Flo. Isn't that wonderful? That's when she's out in the garden and not sitting on the on the um on the desk. It's interesting. She took it with the Polaroid camera. Isn't it wonderful? She's in the garden. It's very mystical, isn't it? I didn't really know she went in the garden. I thought she always sat on the desk, but she, obviously she does. And there's oh, so that's just some of the book pages it's hard for you to see it isn't it that's some of the book pages just all jagged and torn and that just allows me to slip slip that in there sylvia dear if you're still here on your lovely happy mail you sent me that just slots in like that this is the i don't waste anything that's the little piece of washi tape that was inside your envelope I'm going to put that there so it doesn't fall. Could you hold that for me, Flo? Thank you, dear. I've got some little fairy keys here with wings. And here, because I'm not going to be with it all the time, I need to make some... Flo needs a tuck spot. She does. I've made a little tuck, a jaggedy tuck spot. I've written, on, in my vintage typewriter, I wrote, on the next page, is Flo the Fairy's journal room. I think I must put on here that this is Flo. Um, on the next page is, is Flo the Fairy's journal room. Fold down the desk and have an explore. So that's inviting people when they're looking through the book to explore the journal room. And the journal room, there is a picture. This is her table and her book and her inkwell go on the table. She, this is her journaling spot where she does her art. There's her pen and there's art on the walls, plenty for people to explore, but I think you've seen that before in the video hot one. It's like story time, I know. Don't go to sleep, Cheryl, or, or do if you want to. I've included some lovely lavender and the lavender mm, that comes all the way from America from Jean Moran's garden. Isn't that gorgeous? She's got little cupcakes, little fairy tea party on the little lavender bag. Mm, Meljoy made that. And then I turn the page and I think I might be adding a few more little bits to this. It's going on Saturday, but I've written, this is called an altered book. I have left some pages from the original text, unidentified flying objects. I wonder if they were from, I wonder if they are fairies. Let me just go, go to the rest of the book because I suddenly realised, I do you find this in your art when you're picking up bits and you think, oh, what? It's all coming together. The the book, the original book, because it, I didn't think people would want it anymore. They can get information on the internet, and it was a bit broken and a bit smelly because I've I've um 
I put it in by car and everything. So it's nice and clean and, and smells nice now. It's absorbed the um. Oh, oh thank you, Sylvia dear. But but the original book is unidentified flying objects. I wanted to leave some of the text because then we've got a picture of Mars. Isn't that wonderful? And I thought, how amazing to do a picture on fairies in a book called Unidentified Flying Objects. Because those UFOs might actually be, be fairies. You just never know. So I've left quite a few pages there for people to have a little read. How do scientists explain UFOs? <laughs> Let me just show you a few more pages. There we are. There's a picture from the original text. And it says, this is Project Mercury. But I'm thinking, that could be a fairy there, couldn't it? <laughs> and let me just turn this page. And it says here, this is a letter from a fairy in France. So Flo actually got some happy mail. And here, this envelope came all the way from France. There's a stamp, it's got Charlie Chaplin on it, and it's in euros, and it's beautiful. You can see, you can peek through the little window here. That was very, I liked the way you did that when you sent the mail. So I could still use the pocket. And I've left in here some of the happy mail. It's a Pierre book. Pierre would have liked that book. Well, it was very old and some of the pages were torn, Cheryl. So, um, but I have left some. Mm. This, and this was from the fairy all the way from France. It's a beautiful day to go after your dreams. So I'm leaving some of these intriguing bits for people, because this is what my niece, Katie said, she liked the journals that I made her, but she does like the altered books because she likes looking for all the bits and pieces. UFO fairies, I know. Mm. It's us though, we love it too though, don't we Roy? And there's, there's a map. Now that actually, vintage map, that could actually be a treasure map. And some amazing French writing there. So there's some things for people to explore. And I think that's it. So I've just got a few finishing touches and it will go to its place. And I will take a photo for you to, so you can see it in its new home. So I'll pop that over there. Thank you, Flo. Flo doesn't mind sharing her fairy book, do you, Flo? I uh, will pop your picture on it as well. So, yeah. <laughs> That's what we've been up to this week. Gosh, it's nearly, it's nearly snack time. Let me show you something else that I've been doing. It's... I keep watching videos. Oh, let me show you. Hold on for a second. I'm going to show you this pocket. Gail T has been inspiring me again. And when I see a pocket, I can't resist it. I love making pockets. Sue's orange hearts. <laughs> so nice to see you. Oh, yes, I know, Kimberly. Yes, nearly. Oh, give me just five minutes. Um, Kim, Kim, Kimberly's saying, come on, come on, Janet. <laughs> it's snack time, it's snack time. Oh, look at little Freddy there. <laughs> I said I'd have a go at making cauliflower paper. So I did. Let me give you a, an idea of the difference, the change of colour. It's not showing up that much. But there is quite a, a like a very light creamy, almost yellowy, little tinge to the cauliflower paper. The rest is drying. This is two coats. 
two coats. See, this is white, if you can compare it. Now, I'm going to be honest with you about the cauliflower paper. I can sort this out because I can put bicarb and lavender on it. But um, there you go. There's some orange hearts for Sue's. Mm. <laughs> it does. It has got a little bit of a cauliflower smell to it. And when you're making it, it does give the house. And especially if you've got people coming in, you have to say, excuse me, I'm just um, dying paper with cauliflower. Mm. <laughs> so, yes. Uh, so next week, I'm going to try rosemary. My favourite dye, dye at the moment is the sage. Is that showing up? That is a beautiful green. Unfortunately, it doesn't show up that, that well. But, yeah, just wanted to show you that. And there's plenty to show you just before... Can you paint and draw on it? Yes, yes, I, I, yes, I haven't used any of my dyed papers yet. I've sent some away. Oh, I've been collaging on them actually, Cheryl. Now you come to think of it. Yes, I have been. I've been collaging on them and making um, postcards, Cheryl. So you can. I, I've, I, this is multimedia paper, so there's a nice thickness to it. Yeah. And there's some, some, I've actually done some on watercolour paper. So the ones on watercolour paper, that's the onion skin gone orange. I could watercolour on it. What a good idea. Oh, you wonder if blueberry works. Oh, yes, yes. I'm tending to try and not use things that I can actually eat. Um... I'm trying to use things that, like from the, the garden, I've got the hugest rosemary bush and I can dry it and I give it away, but I can spare some to do some dyeing. So nip down, link below to this amazing pocket that Gail T. It does. It does have that little nasally sort of aspect to it, doesn't it? It's great, though. I think when I could make the rosemary paper, let me write that down and then that will happen. Rosemary paper. Mm. So this pocket is amazing. There'll be a link down below to Gail T's channel. I thought, no, Gail, I've got projects to do. I've got to hop on Friday. And then Gail has, I write it up. I just can't resist to make them. And, but it also has a little side pocket as well. Isn't that amazing? I love it. Well, well done. <laughs> Gail likes making pockets too. So all it is, is is vintage book paper and I popped mm. I, I popped napkin on it and then I probably oh will I be able to do this when I'm when I'm chatting you fold it in three let me see Oh, let me just do this. Let me fold it in three. Let me just, I just concertina it. I'm not, I can't remember what I did now. And that's so that vase is at the bottom. And then I think you cut this out, cut the little round. I, do you know, I used to go around the print stick, but I just don't think it matters. Ah, yes. And then... You sew it on all the way around. I did it on machine or you can glue it. And you can, oh yes, I sewed around that first. And then I sewed it onto there. And can you see here, you've got this little pocket here. You could actually have two pockets. Ah, uh, no, the way I've sewn it on, I've only got one. But, of course, Gail gives a wonderful, wonderful 
demonstration of this pocket gale tea on her channel. There's Janet B. Good morning, Janet B. So nice to see you. Really nice to see you. Hmm. No, Beth, you've always got lots of projects on, haven't you? And yeah, me too. Yeah, you, one can't do everything. It's just the little thing that I'm paper alchemy. It's just the little thing that I'm into at the moment. I think it's because it's harvest time and I'm tidying up in the garden and drying herbs. Isn't it a beautiful pocket? It's a, it's a tall library pocket. Yeah, do nip over to lovely Gail T's channel. She always does a super pocket. And these are lovely to pop in a little bit of happy mail. I love it. So nice to see you, Jean. So let's pop that there. And it's time. Snap that. Kimberly. Kimberly. I'm sorry. I'm a minute late. <laughs> it do, Roy. That's retirement, Roy. <laughs> Oh dear, where did you ever find the time, Roy, to go to work? Look, there's little Freddie. Where is he? There's his little head. Let me wipe, wash my hands here before I touch the tea. Ah, oh, have you got a cup of tea there? We'll pour you some out in a minute, Flo. Mm. <laughs> right, I've got a treat today. I have a treat. Let me just come around this side so I'm not reaching over and knocking things over would you believe this is the neatened up version of the desk would you believe it if I told you that that's my pool pottery cup absolutely gorgeous that's vintage 1960s I love it there we are so what have we got today? We've been harvesting this week. I'll show you what we've got. I've got my teapot here because in my happy mail, my postcard. Oh, I didn't read your poem out, Sylvia. Don't that one when I'm brewing the tea, I'm gonna read your poem out. What am I like? Homemade tea from Sylvia, all the way from France. Mm. <laughs> so nice to see you, Janet. Handmade tea for you, direct from my garden. Lavender, blueberries and chamomile. Enjoy. That's from Sylvia. In a gorgeous little packet, beautifully sellotaped down because we don't want to get it everywhere. How shall I? I'm going to open it at the top, Sylvia. And I'm going to brew some tea. And and Lair, you've got a teapot like this, haven't you? This is Sam's one. We tend to use this for the herbal teas. Oh, lovely. I'm going to put, I'm going to put, I'm, good, I'm not going to make too much. You make a cup's worth, so I've got some left. How wonderful. Because it would be nice to. Would you hold on to that, please, Flo? Thank you. <laughs> and I've got some boiling water here. Kimberly's ready for her snack, surely. How wonderful. Oh, look at the colour already. It might be nice to use some of the other rest of it. What do you think to make some dyed paper? What would you prefer me to do, Sylvia? Mm. There we are. I'll put the cosy on just to keep it nice and warm. What have I got? So, these are hazelnuts. Ben, ben bought me some hazelnuts from the wall garden where he has a client and he goes to do some work there and they have a wall garden. And they've got a hazelnut tree. Mrs. Gigi was telling me she's got a walnut tree. So yesterday we couldn't find the nutcrackers. So we had, Sam and I had hammers because we wanted to use some of them today. <laughs> oh dear. So that's, that's that. So we were listening. We were, Sam and I were in the kitchen. We had lovely Rebecca from Becca Creates. Where can I put that so you can see those? 
it's lovely to see nature's harvest isn't it and um we, we were listening to Becca and Becca was doing felting with a needle. We were hammering and I said, oh, we're hammering the nuts open. And Mrs. Gigi was saying, oh, mind your fingers. <laughs> we were fine. We were fine. <laughs> we were determined. So what? let's give young Freddie his snack. Cheryl, I better feed the young Freddie first, haven't I? Mm. Have a little nut tree, nothing does it there, but a silver apple and a golden bear. <laughs> oh, was it the king of Spain's daughter came to marry me and all for the sake of my little nut tree or little pear tree? <laughs> there you go. So fresh hazelnuts, we've had them before. Later, with these ones, I'm going to use make a dish remember what it was but it had cream butter toasted hazelnuts and sage it was gorgeous i can't remember maybe it was with ravioli hmm. a maid would be better it would be did you say i need a maid to make the tea i know i should have a little bell yeah definitely so we could get on with the craft i know i know Freddy having his snack there. Is that nice, Freddy, dear? You'll probably then just go and get a drink and say, that's it. I've had enough of you all now. I'm going to the window to look out. <laughs> You're super messy. You need two males. Oh, I know. Tell me about it. I'll let, I'm going to let that brew. And so with the biscuit, toasted so what i did once they were shelled i chopped the nuts up and put them in a frying pan dry they've got enough oil in them and i they, they tasted nice when i when i tasted them but once you toast them they taste like hazelnuts <laughs> so i made um a fresh haze toasted hazelnut and chocolate chip cookie <laughs> or biscuit as we like to call them and there's actually some left that's a miracle isn't it <laughs> oh yes jean i remember it was a silver nutmeg i remember that too yeah that's true hmm. so yes my little Chocolate hazelnut cookie, just my ordinary biscuit recipe. I can leave the link below, but it's just butter, butter, sugar, and flour, no egg. Mm. 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 <laughs> oh, Joe's up. Mm. Just in time for tea, Joe. Mm. Let me read to you. Mm. Let me read something very special mm. that's going on in the... <laughs> Joe says, good morning to everybody. Really tasty, Jean. Mm. Really tasty. Mm. Janet B, yes, really tasty. Mm. So I want some in sweet and then I'll make a savoury dish. I don't always eat sweets, honestly. So, as well as getting happy mail from a fairy in France, I also, coincidentally, got happy mail from Sylvia, beautifully typed. Tell me about your typewriter, Sylvia, dear. Mm. It's a very yummy cookie. Let me see what the tea, I'll give it a shake. Let's, let's check the colour. Oh, that is a lovely cut. Oh, oh, I don't believe it. I love it. Tea from herbs from Sylvia's garden in France. Cheers. Hmm. Part of sugar and flour. Yes, right up there on the nutrition food pyramid. I know. I 
no, I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> I do eat quite healthily some of the time. How much peanut butter to make peanut butter cookies? Oh, I don't know. Has anybody got a nice peanut butter recipe to share with Melissa? We could, someone could pop one in Beth's group for you. Mm. Oh, I'm sure lots of the, um, our American friends have. Mmm, mmm, lovely. Oh, no, let me concentrate. That is a perfect blend of tea. That, no, do you know? What, I can't think what was in it. Where's the little note? Um, seriously, I am not lying. That is that is the nicest herbal tea I have ever tasted. And yes, you American friends, you did hear me right. I said herbal <laughs> and not herbal. <laughs> it's so funny we say it differently, don't we? Mm. Mm. It's an old typewriter from the 70s. It belonged to your dad. Well, may I say, you care for it beautifully. It's lovely and clean, and it's just got the slightest echo. I love it. I love it. Mm. Oh, Joyce, I love leftovers. You're having pizza for breakfast. Oh, you go. Mm. Mm. I can't get, you said lavender, chamomile, and rosemary think I can't get one of those you blended it so beautifully hmm. if I'm I think it's the lavender that makes it not that I can taste the lavender it's just that is that is what you call blended tea that is amazing hmm. I can be trying to make some of that this week hmm Oh, you discuss recipes. Yes. Enjoy your pizza, Joyce. This is an autumn poem by Sylvia. And the autumn came with little rain steps, sweeping the summer with a thunderclap. The warmth of yesterday flowers. And the autumn came with amber touches on the morning dew, slowly drawing new landscapes in the wind's freshness. And the autumn came closer with gentle feather caresses on our sunny skins, tracing other lives, other pages. And the autumn came closer with small drops of silence laying down a leaves carpet on the colours of our hearts. Oh, wow. That was poignant. That was amazing. I could feel. I'm not talking about the typing in the chat. I just felt. I could feel that you were listening and and, and stunned by as st stunned by that beautiful poem as I am. Mm. <laughs> oh, Beth dear, that's a beautiful poem. And if you don't mind, I'm not going to keep it. I I can take a scan of it, but it's going to go with a long with the fairy journal it's going on a journey <laughs> oh lovely absolutely lovely mm. i was going through an old journal and i found this i've been collecting words and i'm going to just I tore it out i thought let's use them <laughs> we shouldn't be afraid to try things and take risks that's being creative. We shouldn't be afraid to try things and take risks. That's being creative. 
<laughs> That's lovely. Sometimes we haven't got the physical or mental energy to take risks, though. We just want to do something quiet and repetitive, and I understand that fully. I'm not going to waste that tea. I want to drink it while it's hot. I love that. I've got a few little leaves coming out there, but I seriously, I don't mind. I'm going to stretch it over there, balance that on the flower press. It's just a case of all our desks are like that, aren't they? We're just, it's a balancing act. Should we do some prompt? Should we do a prompt game? That would be nice. Mm. The poem is delicious. The poem is delicious, isn't it, Barbara? Yes. Mm. <gasps> Carol's just had tea and toast. Tea and toast in the autumn. Very, very comforting, Carol, dear. Mm. Mm. Lovely. Now, what, what am I doing? What's the basket? Oh, here. Here's the basket with all the prompts in. You can make a journaling page. I'm quite into making postcards at the moment because I'm enjoying posting postcards to people. It's nice to um, say, oh, do you know, you could send a postcard and write a recipe on it, couldn't you? That would be a really nice thing to do. Hmm. Back to stitching. Another Kawandi, Kawandi quilt. Oh, yes, that was beautiful. So you're making this purple quilt with that's intricate patterns, but you, you, you've got another one that's patchy and you put the Japanese stitching all over it. Beautiful, Carol. Carol's stitching and just, yes. Team toast. Friends, sewing, it's lovely. Oh, Heather, did you sort a recipe out for Melissa? And there will be help. Just ask Heather any questions about, yeah. Mm. Yes, here's the prompt basket. <laughs> oh, I love it. I'm just shuffling them up. <laughs> so, I like to have the surprise as well. So, yes, I'm going to be making surprise parts. <laughs> I was watching Alison at AJ's Inspired Life, and she had fun. The people in the um, chat told her which prompts to do, and she did them. That was fun. That was a fun, a fun one too. So let me, let me, you can, you can make a postcard do a journaling page, anything. I'm going to count, so I'm not going to look. Oh, that's a tag to do. That's blank. Hmm. Carol, you're keeping the mind stress-free. Yeah. Hmm. That's it. That's what I do. And there's different projects like crochet sometimes in the jacket. Hmm. Just things just to... Things just to make us calm. Here's lovely Mary. Oh, Mary. Link below. Link below. If you would like to find out how gnomes know how someone's at the door, what type of doorbell, an alarm system, a warning system do gnomes have? Hmm. You'll need to follow the link below to Mary's live on Friday. She's doing it in, in Inktober and ah, oh, it's beautiful. One, two, three. I'm not looking. Four. I've got to count. <laughs> Five, six. There we are. Hmm. And they're probably crazy prompts, so do ask her alternatives. <laughs> <laughs> Mary, oh, wonderful. We've just had a wonderful video. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Mary. And you're doing in Toba. I'm just on the catch up. So I'm just watching you create your gorgeous little gnome. She's visiting Fibsbell and her name is Ruby Rose. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. Mm. 
Mm. Oh, we're going to make something yummy. Oh, you always do, Chow. Beautiful tea. Thank you. Right, let's do a prompt. Oh, oh, how funny. The first prompt that we come out of the gate with. Now, you can you can use it and then and then is is a hedgehog look at that a hedgehog hedgehogs are quite autumny though aren't they i've got a little I got, oh no it's an owl oh yes no i made a little hedgehog didn't i that's what made me do it for the um time for art i have got a very old and it was very ripped, Miss Tiggy Winkle book. So I've actually got a picture, some pictures maybe in here, or is it just the cover? Oh, it's just the cover of an old book. So is that cheating? You it, has anybody got hedgehog stickers? Thank you, Vanessa. There we are. So I'm going to tear this out. It's not a vintage book, it's just an old book that was a little bit I wouldn't tear up the originals I don't know where the originals are I wouldn't do those that was just a very old Miss Tiggy Winkle book so I've got that oh husband always not twice Barbara let me just go again. Hold on. That's the second time. The doorbell won't ring. Um, but once I stop going live. on the table that's so fun um barbara says mel joined the house woo, woo. janice says janice is at work now happy um happy birthday from janice oh so nice to see you oh have i missed someone coming in is it emma Emma, hi Emma, starving Emma. Emma, I was on your live yesterday. It's just really nice. I, I love a live. It's just so nice to chat. It was quite late at night for me. Ah. Heather says happy birthday. Mary says happy birthday for Friday. <laughs> oh, that's so lovely. Ah. <laughs> Freddie was so pleased. Oh, now this is a good time to say there is, do you know, Melanie, there's another hop on Friday. This Friday. Oh, she can't hear me because the kettle, I've got a hole, like a little hole from the dining room to the kitchen. Yes, this is the dining room. Oh, I'll tell her in a minute. I can't believe. It's a year since of the year, a week, no, a month since that the last hop. I just can't believe it. Oh, is that Ali? Ali, hi, so nice to see you. We've literally just started, Ali. If you would like a prompt, I enjoyed every minute of your live on the replay, Ali such fun 
and the and people in the chat were giving you clue prompts, weren't we? Oh, okay, Mary, I'll get back to that. Yes. Um, people in the chat, Alison, were giving you prompts, and then and then Brooke came into the chat describing her dinner, and then Ali was saying. Crispy, that's not a really good prompt. I don't want to do that. So that really made me laugh. <laughs> mm. Come and have a seat. Come and have a seat. Can you believe it's a month since that last um pot? It? Yes. Wow. wow. Doesn't that go quick? Oh, we had quick. we had such a laugh. We're on the kitchen table. <laughs> so it was like lights. That was funny. Camera action. It was so funny. <laughs> because the way it was, we had to whole flow up and I couldn't oh, move. Yes. And I had to keep She's saying <laughs> she is. She's very it's quite hello everybody. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, Gail's still there with us. I'm oh. definitely so. Hey, Alison, for you, my sweet. we have just had Sorry. one quote um, prompt already, and it's hedgehog. I've used a little piece of my little Miss Tiggy Winkle. You like hedgehogs? No, no way, no way. <laughs> it's not They're from Auntie Marion, and it's from Auntie Marion. Oh. She, Auntie Marion has got a bargain sale 10p, that's like 10 cents. And guess, that's pretty. Is <laughs> they biscuits? They're not biscuits. He thinks everything I bring is food. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you caught us live as well. I thought I would just try and get round. Oh, traffic's horrible, but um, oh, they've got petrol at the little Tesco's, haven't they? I think they've just run out again, but oh, the queue is still there. Oh. Yeah, it's good about half a mile. Of it. <laughs> oh, really? It's not washy, you know. Look at look at little Fred. It's not biscuits, darling. It's not biscuits. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's hedgehog ribbon. I thought it was washy, Janet. It's hedgehog ribbon art. It was a pound, but ten pet. I'll have to message Marion later. Can you believe? Would you like some as well? Have you got some? I haven't got some, but I brought it around here. I can use it around here. I don't need any at the moment. You don't need any at home. Oh, I know that, I know wow. That, that's how Hedgehog ribbon. Oh, I'm, I'm loving that. So what I'm going to do, let me know if you want a different... Oh, darling, I didn't bring you any food. Oh, you can give me one of these, enough. Melanie. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. I'm just... Oh, oh, oh. oh Anne. Mm, you were here and then now you're back. So nice to see you. We're just doing the prompts, Anne. The first one is hedgehog. I'm just tacking it down because I think I might be able to put some things under. Oh, Mary, dear. I'm just going to get back. You know when you remember something. Um, Mary was just saying in the chat, yep. she's thinking of postponing the live hop on Friday. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mary, you do what you feel you're ready to do. I I know because the thing Oh, yes. yes. I remember you. Yeah. Saying. I've been, I wanted to journal before I started something different. Mrs. Gigi has put up a process video link below. Oh, to the the second Friday of October. It, it, it does. It does come early in the month. It was like that after Christmas. You do what you feel is right, Mary. Mm. Mm. I'm sure we'd all be grateful of that too. <laughs> it gives us more time. <laughs> because I was going to have to get down to that pretty quickly. Thank you for my hedgehog ribbon. I'm loving that. And oh, look at these sloths. Aren't they sloths? Sloths. Sloths. I don't know. Sloths. It's not it yet. <laughs> sloths. Absolutely brilliant. 
I'm loving that. <laughs> oh, that's good. I was, I was hoping I'd get here in time for you doing this. So that you could have the, I'm not realising that Hedgehog would have already come off. It's just like, I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> Mary says she thinks she needs a little break. Do you know, I think you need a little break as well, Mary. Well, it's a good idea, yeah. yeah. You've got to, got to look after yourself and, you, you know, yeah. Cause mental it, health. It's no good pressuring yourself to do things. It's not fun, is it? Well, and that's what this is all about. Really, it's meant to be it? fun, yeah. yeah Should definitely. be a pressure. Anne agrees. Well, you've got a great team and a great community behind you. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Promise everyone. Um, I didn't see much chat because I... Is, is it hard to... Yeah, no, everybody's saying, saying hi and happy birthday to you, Mel. Oh, that's yeah. lovely. What's Thank the you. next prompt? Ooh, look at this. I've put some new prompts in and it's come up. Here's one of Janice's stickers she gave me. Look. It's ah, fruit with googly ooh, eyes. Nice. Add autumn colour. Add autumn colour. Get one, darling. Oh. <laughs> Add autumn colour. So what I usually do is... Get my paint papers out, Mouse. Other plan. people, yeah, but otherwise, because I will just literally get in a sticky, sticky mess. But other people can look at him. Mm. Shall we tell people why Freddie thinks that you've got food for him? You did bring him that <laughs> treat once. I did once bring him a treat, but once I came <laughs> round. And he got down into my bag, which was my bag that I've just cut everywhere with me. And I think I've taken it to work. It's, I think it's that long ago, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I'd had it at work with me. And he found in the bottom of it a bag that I'd had a sandwich in <laughs> with a little bit of sandwich left in it, um, <laughs> with which he was delighted. And now ever since, he thinks that if he can get into my bag, it's going to be a sandwich or something in there. Yeah. Oh so that's why he goes absolutely bananas, doesn't he? Oh what is he like? What is he absolutely. like? Wait, lovely Sandra knocked on the door to tell me there was petrol around at there. I wouldn't oh. have gone though because you but just get caught in exactly. such trap there. No, it's awful. I was going to say, don't bother bringing, uh, getting me for swimming tomorrow because it's oh. going to be hopeless. No, it'll have all gone by then, Dee. So, um, <laughs> Vanessa says, happy early birthday. Thank you. Yes, they're very good at sniffing things out. And you can uh, you can smell the cat as well. Yeah. 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 Like mm. and, and the cat always sniffs me when I come back from here. It's like, mm, I can <laughs> smell pretty on you. Yeah. <laughs> Oi, I'm going to get some. Where have you been? Yeah. You're not very loyal. <laughs> oh, oh, Janet says I am buffering on her computer. Oh, is that is that like that for anybody else? When it's buffering, you see lines go across where it's trying to connect again. Oh. I can't say I've seen those here, but sometimes so it might be at that end. Like it in. might be. I do hope you're not having problems, and I do hope I'm not having problems because I just love this. Last week when it got to two o'clock, I thought. Oh, thanks, that girl, Andy. Yeah. Um, I didn't want it to end. Oh, you know, you get oh, 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 nice. is it? Got to wait nice. another week. This is, I think, this is the painty paper I did last week. So I took the hedgehog off and the ribbon, and I'll put those back on again. What are we going to do? Rip it. Hmm. No, Buffy, no Buffy the Vampire there. <laughs> Can you see how the desk gets? Absolutely ridiculous. I know. I know. Hmm. You know how it gets. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and this is the tidy version. <laughs> Isn't well, it? we're both at it going home and on. I know. Well, I haven't left you any room. <laughs> no, we weren't expecting you, lovely, were you? No, so but it's nice to see you. I just thought it might be oh. a nice little surprise. Oh, Cheryl, I hope your internet's okay. Sometimes Cheryl's been having problems, haven't you, Cheryl? I'm glad it's okay for you today. So we've got autumn colour. I've got some painty paper I did last week. So I'm going to put, pop the hedgehog back on. I'm still going to just, what I call, he's determined, isn't he? He's smelling him, his little nose. He's just like little, little biscuits, darling. Hmm. 
There's biscuits in the tin if you would like a biscuit. I won't no, know, that's no. fine. I won't. No, absolutely fine. Just thought I'd better offer. Thank yes. you. Yes, yeah, very kind. No, I'm, I'm no. avoiding things. No, like yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and my hedgehog ribbon. That is just like, I'm just going to pop that anywhere, anyhow. Hmm. There we are. So that's so far. Should we have another prompt? Where did I put them? Oh, here. Hmm. Ah. Ooh, wrapping paper. Use wrapping paper. There's there's some um, Anne Lair going in with the um with the IT advice there. <laughs> <laughs> you you will still be streaming this coming Friday. We just will not be hopping. Okay, Mary, let's do that. It did come round very quickly. Totally agree. Mm. Oh my god, would you please get the boss? You said I needed a maid. It was said <laughs> earlier. I need you here every Monday. <laughs> oh dear. Or wrapping paper. Yes. Gift paper, wrapping paper. Let's see what I've got. Do you know? This font has been in there quite a while. Is it the postman? Yes. As the postman always knocks twice. Is it a parcel for Sam? Oh. oh, it might be a birthday present for Ben because it's Ben's birthday on Thursday. Yes. You can use brown paper if you want. Oh, Candy said. Use brown paper and use stamps on it. I'm loving that idea. Definitely, yeah, definitely. Mm. <laughs> um, no, Bootsy, it, it isn't. Bootsy's being, um, yes. <laughs> Vanessa says, no, 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 we'll, yeah, we'll pop it in the group, Vanessa. We're going to, the, the, the um, hop will be postponed. Yeah, yeah, but we'll, yeah. Mary will give it, send us a message. Mm. Postman always rings twice, that's the film. I just so happened to have some vintage wrapping oh, paper. That pretty. came in that box from Nikki. Lovely. And I, I put it in my autumn bag. And oh, and I only did that this week. Oh, the plans are really coming together today. And it's got heart shapes on. It's very autumny, isn't it? It's very pretty, yeah. It's got chickens. Yeah. Chickens. Chickens. Oh, and a deer. If you watch Becky, Becca Creates, sometimes she can just turn the, oh, look, I love that. It's got acorns. Oh, I love that. Um, she turns the camera around and you can see, she's in Texas now. So, mm. um, you can see her um, her garden and she has a herd of deer. Oh, herd. It's like, it's like Richmond Park. I know. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? Gosh. Yeah. yeah, it's not like living in London, is it? No. No. That's, uh, I mean, some people have big gardens. Uh, I mean, well, yeah, some people do. Space is, a, space is a thing here. So I'm actually cutting out some little oak leaves and acorns for mine. I will put some of this in the, the happy mail. Remind Pretty. me now. We'll make it up. In a minute. Mm. Mm. It's enough. Oh, don't worry if you don't remember. No pressure. If I don't no remember, pressure. I'm not going to worry about no, it. No, no, no. I won't know the difference. Right, I'm going to put some of that okay. on. I can't find a print stick that works at the moment, but that's just life. So I'm going to use my wonderful. So nice to see you. Mm. Oh, you posted it in the group. Mm. Uh, wrapping as in no not that sort of wrapping no <laughs> i couldn't i can't break into a wrap <laughs> oh melanie yes let me just show you the poem that um sylvia the fairy book's finished actually oh. it's in it's in there it's tight it's quite near the back it's pinned in okay wonderful poem oh. we could put mel's on the spot and what, reading it? You read it out. Yeah, I read it out to everybody. That that was from 
Sylvia's father's typewriter. Oh, Isn't that amazing. Zena, so nice to see you. We've got a professional singer. What should we sing? <laughs> We've got a professional singer in the group now. I'm loving that. Okay. Right. <laughs> Heather says, hearing Janet rap would make her year. <laughs> Shall I see a rap poem for next week? Well, yeah, let's rap write a rap poem. I love a good, oh, you can have so much fun with a rap poem. Next week. Okay, Heather, I will, I will, well, I won't write it. Mel's is a writer. She will write it for me and I will try to rap it. Will you produce me? Mouse. Yeah, you want to rap. I yeah, want to rap. I will. I'll get Marion to help as well. <laughs> we call her Auntie Marion, but she's my sister actually. But she's she's always been the all oh, so many children's auntie, but yeah, and it just always calls her Auntie Marion. Auntie Marion. So, Auntie Marion. When I'm talking about, it's got all this very. I know. But I will definitely. Yes, I will get her to work on the crafty rap poem. Oh look! Hold on. My name is Janet. I cannot rap. But I, I sew all day and give Freddie bats. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I would have to go back into chat to write that down. <gasps> Could you message me that? Because that is fragile. It's going. It's going. My name is Janet and I cannot rap, but I sew all day and give Freddie bats. Oh, you are so talented, Cheryl. You, you really are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, perhaps Cheryl would better write you the rap then. She's beat me to it. Just she go has. for it. Yeah. <laughs> like that. I know. Just like that. So funny. <laughs> Brilliant. This is a beautiful poem, Sylvia, by the way. It's very, very lovely. I adore it. Love poetry. Would you like to read it or I I've can read, read it. it out if you'd would like you? Because to. you'd probably like to hear it in another voice. Mm. In another voice. <laughs> It'll just be my voice. I'm not putting on any voices because I'll lose them. And the autumn came. And the autumn came with little rain steps, sweeping the summer with a thunderclap, the warmth of yesterday flowers. And the autumn came with amber touches on the morning dew, slowly drawing new landscapes in the wind's freshness. And the autumn came closer with gentle feather caresses on our sunny skins, tracing other lives, other pages, and the autumn came closer with small drops of silence, laying down a leaves carpet on the colours of our hearts. Beautiful. Yes. Beautiful. I know. Eyes. And the amazing thing about when, when I read it out as well, I could feel the silence mm. coming through because everybody else was listening to mm. it as well. Amazing. It's beautiful. Mm. I do love poetry. Mm. Janice says beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Thanks, Sylvia, Sylvia who yes. is in France. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's throw in another prompt because this is a prompt game. Oh, look. Why are my prompts so out there? It says add a ladybird. You can <laughs> draw a ladybird or you might have. A ladybird sticker. Let me see if I've got any more over here. Did Auntie Marion give me any ladybird stickers? No, not today. Um, ah, here we are. You've got sloths or owls. <laughs> no, I love it. Mm. We can all write a rap. And use it in your prompts. Yes, we've got seven prompts today. Write a little rap and pop it on your on your um if you want to, or you can use Cheryl's and add your own name and pop it in whatever you're. I'm making a postcard, but you might be doing a, a page. Yes, add a rap. Got some ladybird stickers. This is amazing. Wow. Oh dear, who were these from? Oh, I love that. Just adding a ladybird sticker. That was an easy prompt. <laughs> I love that. Mm. And I've just 
I've just noticed Cheryl's already messaged me that wrap. Oh, thank yeah. you. Mm. Well done. Ooh. Barbara loves that idea. Ah, Laurie says, and Laurie is coming in November, now, Joy. Wow. Yes, she has relatives. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Ooh. Very welcome. There's always a room here as well because we're very near. We can get to Gatwick quite quickly. Or Heathrow, not so. Heathrow, no, there. you'd have to go up into London and then yeah, yeah. Heathrow's a bit of a pain, isn't it? A bit of a pain. And that's, here. that yeah. is where you come in. But always a welcome here. Mm. Mm. You can get that. There's a bus, but it takes forever. Well, it depends on the traffic. It depends on the time of day and the traffic. There's a bus from Heathrow, isn't there? But... There is a bus. Yeah. yeah. Um, do you know? That is. Who's saying that? Gail Ann says, I wonder where the name RAP, R A P, comes from. Oh, oh where does it derive from? Oh, look it up on Google. Janice, uh, Janice works for a newspaper. Oh. Is that work? If Janice was able to be in the chat, you would know, wouldn't you? Oh, what's a ladybird? Oh, bless. I'm so sorry. A ladybug. A ladybug. <laughs> oh, how interesting. Thank you for asking, Alison. Isn't that amazing? You've got a little emoji going. <laughs> I love that. A lady, but why do they call them lady birds? Because they fly. But I don't know. No. Yeah. Is it is it opposite to a, a boy bird? Oh, how funny. Lady yeah, bird. I'm loving that, Ali. A lady no, bird. Like and lady I was bird. I was lucky enough to have some stickers. Oh, magazine page 29. Oh, I'm loving that. Oh, I've got a choice of magazines. Mm. Ben bought this Vogue back. Well, who did he borrow the Vogue? I'm not quite sure. Oh, thanks, Fred. For some reason. So, fetch a magazine and turn to page 29 and use something on that page. Oh, okay, says Ali. What I thought, but I read it and thought, oh, I know, Ali. We, it's just our little differences in language. Yeah. <laughs> rap, 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 snip, snip, snip. The presents are all pretty while I rap. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. So there you go, Heather. Rap, 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 snip, snip, snip. The presents all are all pretty while I rap. There you go. We have been doing rap. Fred is having a nice game of chase now. Mm. <laughs> you brought me a toy, so I threw it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. We're asking Janice why she's in. Where does the word rap come from? Mm. Is there a ladybird bird? Oh, no. No, there isn't. No, Cheryl. It's just what we call them. It's funny, isn't it? I think ladybugs is much more accurate. I think the American way in there is better. So get a magazine. Go to page 29. If you can see the numbers... Sometimes you have to count them because especially these sort of magazines, they don't give you numbers. Oh, where does it start? Numbers. Let me see if this other magazine gives me numbers. Hold on. Does this one give me more numbers? Oh, it does. So I'm going to use this one. I'll just put that one down there. Number 29. And 28, 29, and it's an advert, but that's fine because it's an advert of oh, about flower. It's a lot, look at the page on the back. It's got a cat and it's in a blanket. Isn't that gorgeous? Now I'm going to send that to that picture to Steph. Oh. Yeah, Steffi Hope Deering comes in sometimes. So I've got to make sure, yeah, that I don't, I'm just going to literally then take this little brown sun mm. from that. Now, isn't it gorgeous? 
if you haven't got something on one side, do another. And we won't be sending the front police round. If you want to use any page from a magazine, <laughs> go ahead. Make our day. <laughs> oh. Janet B. Oh, Janet B's having trouble with a computer today. Oh, oh, Janet B. Oh, I love okay. it when you're here. Oh, see Gail above. See Gail's answer. Ooh, ooh, Gail's. Gail's been Googling. Oh, can I see it? I'm not very good at going back in chat. I am so scared of booting people out. Oh, Gail Ann, can you say it again? Oh, I'm having a pain. Oh, you wonder if it comes from the name Rapport? French. Oh, I don't know. Oh, Gail. I'll have a look. Shall I have Gail. a look? Oh, and Gail said. Mm. I'll have a little, I'll have a little Google. There we are. Isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful. So that's going to Steph in Happy Mail. Sorry, Gail, and I missed it. And I so don't like to touch the button near there. That's Happy Mail pile. And what have I got? Oh, yes, I've got this lovely, quite earthy colours. I'm liking that. Sometimes you feel that it's not coming together. But then once I start to add borders and bits, it, it just all comes together in the end. Mm. There we are. Pop that there. Whoops. There you go. We haven't had a magazine one for a while. I put some of them back and there we are. Just a little piece of brown. Is there any any other? I might be able to use some of those letters, but I'll have to think about it when I'm not on when I'm not on stream. Ooh, I know what I could do. I would like to cut out to bring that brown, some more brown into it. I'm going to cut out my my hearts here and I'll be doing some doodling on these later there we are a little brown heart can go just there I'm loving that that just brings it together a bit I shall just tack it down hmm. there we are we will find out there we are. Just use the My Magazine, just like that. And that's good because it reminded me I wanted to send that picture to one. Um... And there's, look, Freddie's back now. He's settled. I think you exhausted him with the excitement of you coming. He's little Freddie. And now it's nearly, nearly time for... To put some numbers in. <laughs> you know the drill. Pop some numbers in and we'll send some happy mail. It, it will be the wrapping paper and some material and what have you. Mm. Last prompt. So go. <laughs> One to a hundred. On or under. It's the winner. Last prompt. It's been an interesting lot of prompts today. House, window, or door? It's very hard sometimes to pull something together, isn't it? But pull it together, we will. I'm determined, Melanie. Look, let's get the magazine out, maybe. House, window, or, oh, I'll tell you what I have got. Hmm. I've got house ribbon. Did you see this, Melanie? Oh, I got no. it. I got it in, um, I love you. It is pretty. I think I might have some more house. Now, I'm wondering if my chat has stopped because people aren't putting numbers in. Oh. Yeah, Let me see I'd if like, I can find you. Online. Yeah, I'd like to do a little draw. You just have to turn the sound down if you do find me yeah. um, so there's no feedback. If you want to go, do. I might, it might be me. I might not have. Push the button down. Yes, people are putting it in. I need oh, it. To, yeah, it's me. Because I've scrolled you. up, it's me. User error, thank you. Pop some numbers in. I'm loving that. I've got some little houses here. I do like 
incorporating. Hmm, I do like incorporating windows or doors. I'll just, I'm going to put that there for now and I will be pulling this together later. <laughs> Did I have some pictures of, I quite often got pictures of windows and doors on the desk. Because I love them you so much. You do love windows and doors, do. don't you? Well, yeah. they sort of bleed through, don't they? I should be looking for, I'm happy with that. And I shall bring that together by putting a border and doing some doodles. We're going to pop a wrap on it as well. And I'm going to do an autumn <laughs> wrap. I will have to ask Melanie to. I did, um, yeah, I did find out what wrap, um, uh, oh, origin for wrap. Yes. But I've lost it now because I went to look for your page. Let's see if I can oh, find it again. Yeah. And Gail Ann did so brilliantly tell us. And then, oh, I've got some lovely windows in here. Windows on a windmill. Gosh, how lovely. There's something very inviting about a window or a door. Don't you think? Mm. It just makes you want to <coughs> explore. I love when you sit on a train and you peep in through people's windows and doors oh, when you come yeah. past houses yeah. or offices. True, yeah. <coughs> it just leads through, doesn't it? Mm. Five for Meljoy. Cheryl's put a number in for you. <coughs> oh, and that, thank you, Cheryl. And that reminds me. <laughs> Oh, Barbara's put a number in for Flo. There we are. Have <laughs> a brilliant Flo. We know what Happy Mal Freddy would like. Yeah. <laughs> a treat. Oh, dear. Oh, there's some wonderful, wonderful windows. I'm just looking for something tiny here. Now, mm. I found this about oh, the yes. wrapping. Yes. Yeah. Um, because there was some stuff about in the 1970s when it sort of started becoming popular and they used it over um, breaks in um, in songs when DJs were playing songs and they'd get like um, percussion breaks and oh, uh, yes. people would rap over that. But apparently it came from an African tradition of wrapped out tales of heroism. Oh, wow. Overdubbed a, a Jamaican beats. It was called rap, expanding the word's earlier meaning in the African-American community to discuss or debate informally. That's amazing. <coughs> Which may origin, originate from the French rapport. Might do. As Roy, yeah. <coughs> Is there not a French rapé? Well, we've got Sylvia in the chat. Oh, thank you, Jean, because thank you, thank you all for putting numbers in and for, for Angie and Beth, who's nipped to sleep. Oh, it's lovely. I'm really enjoying looking through this magazine. I will be, I put some little houses on mine and I will draw it all together. I'm happy with that. Actually, I don't think I've got room for a window, so I'm going to leave it. Thank you for putting numbers in for other people. That's super. Have we finished now? I'm actually going to send our dear Laura, let me write a list, a postcard, just to say hi. Yeah, thank you for reminding me. Yes. Mm. Well, Rappelé, isn't it, in French? Oh, yes. Well, Rappelé, which is... Thanks, Vanessa, dear. But if you come in after, don't worry because of lags. Oh, could we put in a number for Janet B? Because Janet B's been here, but having terrible trouble with her internet. Mm. Oh, take care, Gail. You've got to run now. Yes, it's been, it's, it's time, isn't it? Yes. Mm. Take care. Take care. You and your <coughs> husband. I hope you, you your health in, continues to improve. Mm. Or rapier means make, <coughs> if I'm pronouncing that, making a point, mm. says Janice. Janice did put one in for Janice B. Mm, I'm loving that. And then we got a 99 for Janice B. If we get two numbers for people or I get, I sent out two last week. But we're not that precious about it, are we? Mm. Right. Random. Org. I'm loving that. I can't believe many again. 
I can't believe it's over. It just goes so quickly. Okay, okay, Heather dear. Right, I'll generate the number, and the number I've generated is 81. 81. So let's, if you can tell me who's on or nearest under, and don't worry if there's two people or, yeah, let me, I shall be putting some more leaves, some bits, and we'll make up a nice happy mouth. There will be coming out on. Um, I've got another cluster video coming out on Wednesday. Crafty clusters. Oops. Oh. Let's see. Roy. Oh, what? Bex was, yeah, over with 82. Janet B was. Did you? What number did you get, Roy? Is it Roy? 78 for Janet B. You're helping me, aren't you? Mary says it's Roy. I'll write this down. Let me just show you this before we go. No way. You did get the postcard you won last week. Thank you. I posted something to the States last week, and it's there already. Amazing. Actually, Becky, I think that was another one because I'd already sent you a postcard. I think the one from last week still to come. <laughs> <laughs> you slow down. I know. Oh, Mary says she was wrong. Absolutely no problem. It was Janet B. Oh, Wonderful. I will message Janet B and I will send a postcard to Roy. How's that? <laughs> we'll make a little wrap for Roy. <laughs> Cheryl, are you there? Can before we go, can we make a wrap for Roy that I can put on his postcard and I'll send a send one to Mary's joining in the um The um, oh, I can't get my words out. The hashtag crafty clusters. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. There we are. I'm just putting this down and seeing. Little sister Cheryl, dear, no pressure. Can you make a wrap up for Roy? And then I can put it on his postcard. That'd be a nice surprise for him because I think I think Mondays is his day where he goes to clean out the fridge. Oh, yeah, because the shopping's coming. You just got back. Ah, oh, just back in time. Boots, boots, Roy. Boots, stinking. <laughs> oh, that's a good one, Joyce. <laughs> that's the beginnings of one, isn't it? I like that. If you can't, Cheryl, don't you worry. Because it's you'll probably, Cheryl, no stress because um, you can message me because it's probably time, and I'll let you know next week what the rhyme was. Oh, I am so sorry. Tuesday is fridge day um, for Roy. Well, Janet, just get your facts correct, please. I know. Sorry. Yes. I must have been. I do apologise, Roy. <laughs> It's not to be trusted. Oh, no. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, Vanessa's going to film her premiere and then it will be ready. Do go and look in the um, Facebook group as well. So, yeah, this is Roy's postcard and Cheryl's going to make up a wrap and I will be sending happy mail to lovely Janet B. I've got a pumpkin here for her, a slow stitch pumpkin. So, yes. Oh, I've dropped fabric in my tea. Oh. Did I say this tea is from Sylvia's garden? Really? Can I? I've got some more. I'm going to brew some, Sylvia, for Melanie. And I'm not just saying it is the nicest herbal tea I have ever had. Oh, it's nice. lavender, mm -hmm. rosemary and chamomile. Oh. And not one. Yeah, precisely. You're going, oh. Mm, very dominant flavour. Not one of those flavours is dominant. Oh, okay. Right. I will brew some. Mm. Mm. 
Interesting. Mm. Yeah, Vanessa, then you'll be ready. Yes, precisely. Well done. Yes, yeah, I agree with you. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs> I need to move out of the way because you want to see Freddie. Oh, goodbye, everybody. Oh, Bye. sorry, it's blueberries. Lavender and chamomile. Blueberries, lavender. Blueberries, lavender and chamomile. I've got the label somewhere because I'm going to try and... Oh, here, it's the label. Mm. Goodbye, Zena. So nice to see you. So nice. It's been Journey. Oh, you've been a gentle listener. Oh, so nice to see you. Mm. You take care, Journey. And I'm going to say goodbye to all the replayers and goodbye to all the gentle listeners too. Janice says, happy birthday. And happy Thank birthday you. to, oh, it's our happy birthday to Ben as yeah. well. Yes. Bye, Gail T. Yeah, and next door birthday. Kimberly. <laughs> I never remember which which way round yours is before <laughs> or after. Bye, Alison. So nice because it's very early in the morning because Alison's central time. So is Mary though. Bye, Heather and Zena. Let's show that. Look at that, it's hidden. Oh, I can't. Oh, I'm trying to press it like it's a touch screen. Oh, what am I, I so used yeah. to be on my phone? What am I like? <laughs> Zena, look at that teapot. <laughs> Happy birthday to Mel and Mel Joy, says Vanessa. Thank you. Bye, Donna, dear. You take good care. Oh, Sylvia. Candy, I hope this week is not. A, Candy's an art teacher. Being back to oh. the studio. Oh, okay. And it was in a right mess. It's a oh. big studio as well. Yeah. Very happy to be back at the studio, I think. Thank you, Journey. Happy birthday to Mel Joy and Ben. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Carol, you take care. Take care. Happy birthday, Mel Joy, says um, Cheryl. And oh, Carol's you. giving you four cakes. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'll oh, set my sugar levels up. That all, that all, plenty to share, then, Melanie. Plenty, plenty to share. As yeah. we always say, sharing <laughs> is caring. <laughs> oh, bye, everybody. Take good care. It's been lovely, and I never want it to end. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> We're going to go and put the kettle on and brew some, some of Sylvia's tea. <laughs> bye, everybody. Bye. Do you think the blueberries were like the fruit and it was ground up? Because it maybe that's what adds the um uh, I don't know whether I don't know whether I'm on or oh end stream, I think I still am. Oh there we are. End. Oh I put not yet. 